Hello there, with this uh, beautiful and just a bit annoying music on the background. Uh, we're looking today on the first game uh, compilation that I've played in my life. So when I was uh, much, much younger, um, uh, our family relative uh, uh, bought me uh, this uh, beautiful console named Terminator. And uh, those were quite popular here in, in our area. Uh, it was mainly just like a Famicom clone, as were Dandies or Super. But this was a Terminator. It was really low-end with a low-quality plastic, uh, but it had a very nice black design. And with that uh, console, I got uh, a few of those... 9999999999 in one compilations and one one of those compilations was this one so finally uh, i found a real working dump because uh, there are many 9999999 in one compilations but uh, most of them were different uh, like those with the birds i didn't have those so those were classics for many many people but not for me so I still need to find the uh, other one uh, that I was playing, but I definitely had this one. And uh, it's quite funny to see how that uh, lion is just hanging there. From pirated game, this, this image is taken, and uh, you can see that even the flowers are a bit, uh, you know, <laughs> a bit um, crazy. So... Uh, I will try to get into the menu. Uh huh. Yeah. Here we are. So, here we have a duck hunt, wild gun, clay shoot. What's funny is that they are playable only with the gun, light gun. But the thing is that mostly in all of those Terminators, those light guns were dead. And uh, even uh, from the first day when I got the console, it was already badly working, and it just stopped working like in a, I would say in um, in a week maybe. Okay, so how do we wild gunman? Oh yeah, this is one of those games. So as you can see, yeah, it's a shooting game, and well, visually it's very nice. I was so scared of this music. I remember. Ooh. And it played constantly, because, of course, the light gun was not working. So, reload. Yeah. Uh, wild gun, wild gun, gunman. So, wild gun, gunman, same game, of course. Then we go to tank. So, I would say tank was the best one out of the bunch. Because this game was very playable. Very playable. It's, it's a good game, you could choose any stage they've made right now accidentally and uh, well the gameplay was really great and what I loved about this game it was great for two players two player action and uh, there were power-ups the, uh, the enemies were quite strong but not like too much too strong and uh, controls were reliable there was always the the delay between shooting so uh, what I love to do is to just <laughs> go up there, <laughs> just <laughs> attack everyone while they were spa spamming there, spamming, 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 spamming. Oh my god! When you didn't have practice for a while, this game is quite hard. So yeah, it's, it's a great game, of course, and uh, I never seen this game like on a separate cartridge, only on those nine 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 and one. But even if I would get uh, this game just separately. I would be totally happy with it, really. And uh, of course, it's it's a classic for for many people. I'm not trying to be very good <laughs> at the game. <laughs> I'm just showing uh, the cartridge uh, today. But uh, yeah, time stop. Woohoo! Yeah, I will even win. I think. Yay! So yeah, that's the game. It's a, it's a it's a perfect 10 out of 10 game. So this compilation already uh, has a great value for me. And um, I never liked uh, the Dr. Mario game. I don't know why, like this music and the gameplay and everything, I just 
didn't like it and uh, never helped that uh, on the TV that I had at home and I think I'm not the only one all the colors were a bit darker and uh, that means that it was always the image in this game was kind of always yellowish greenish so uh, unpleasant kind of and uh, I will lie if I will tell you that I remember how to play it Ah, oh, yeah, okay. So we need to kill all of the germs inside. So, yeah. This game, I don't know why, for me it was really uh, unpleasant when I was a child. Why? No reason. Maybe I don't like doctors. Who knows? Oh, yes. <laughs> I cannot even end the game. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we finished the game, the germs won, and it's so scary. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, really. Uh, Negative memories. Ah, oh, this music. This music is just something. Okay, so Dr. Mario, Mario, of course, well, Mario. Mario is a classic. And in this uh, compilation, uh, it's the original one, kinda. But in, uh, in many other cartridges from that era, uh, the textures were changed and uh, it was called Super Mario 2. It had no connection with the real Super Mario 2, but it had this uh, label Super Mario 2. Why? I have no idea. Uh, maybe just to sell it? Uh, I think so. And of course, this is a legendary game. It's great. It works well. I remember there was a secret here somewhere. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, I do still remember some uh, cool things, not much, not all of them, but, you know, enough uh, to at least uh, have some fun, like this one. And uh, there was somewhere, I remember, uh, a star. It's great when you have so much fun with the game in your childhood that you even now, uh, remember small details uh, uh, when you grow up. I think uh, I think it's cool. And yeah, so yeah, I like that. You just quickly finish the game. Yeah, yeah. You see, I do remember how to play this. <laughs> I will still uh, die in that uh, endless corridor where there is no end because I don't remember the pattern. But uh, until that point, I. I think I will be pretty okay, pretty good. So uh, I will show off my my skills that I don't have. <laughs> but here, at least, oh my cat is here. I don't know, he wants something, but he ate today. And I remember there was something here. Of course, yeah, it's a star. Whoa, whoa, no, no, happens. And I do remember uh, there were some cool passages uh, in the future there. Bump. Like I go here, you see, and here. Bump, bump. I do remember there was uh, something here. And what I like to do is just to go through all this level without playing it. I made it something like this. That, if I remember correctly, I uh, run here, then I run here, then I made something. Ah, yes, that. Ah, no, and of course, I've lost it. Well, what can I do? So now I run, 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 bump, and then I run. Oh, no. Skills, yeah. Oh no, no. Happens. And uh, then I just go up here and do the zone selection. That's all. Well, we can play forever this game, but I think all of you played it many, many times. So, what's next in this uh, beautiful uh, thing? Uh, here we have. Tank, Mario, Mario Tank, Tank, Clay Shoot, Mario J, Duck Hunt, Dr. Mario Tank, 
Again, <laughs> tank, again. <laughs> so as you can see, it's the same, same games constantly. It was, was like, no, like, one, two, two, three playable games and light gun games, come on. And then you go and go and go and go and go. Let's see, what will happen in F if I will just go uh, to Mario G? Which is for fun. Okay, one player game. Okay. World 1-1. One, one. Nothing. The same game. <sighs> well, what can I say? Okay. Let's try... Um, usually in those, um, in those cartridges uh, with many games, well, many six games or seven games, uh, there were many copies, but at least uh, they... Uh, and it accidentally. At least they um, they started from different levels, so uh, at least there would, could be some kind of selection. But here I think there is really nothing, only a menu. Okay, if I would go uh, Mario W. Yeah, you just get the same. Oh no, 6-1! Yeah, that's what I was saying about, is that at least, yeah, you got like only a few games, but at least you could uh, go to different levels. And sometimes those levels were totally like unfinished or crazy or there was something crazy happening with that level. So uh, I remember with Contra you could get uh, to the version of the ga game where <laughs> there are 30 lives. <laughs> yeah. So, um, there was a value, it, it was something like a save file, yeah. Uh, or a way to cheat. Like here, I definitely know I can... Ah, it was not fast enough, it's hard on the keyboard. Mm, that you can attack that... Uh, uh, creature. I don't remember how it was called. Remember, it's in Mario Kart. Yeah, you can attack this guy. And for about like half a level or less, you don't have to think about him. Yep. So, yeah, this cartridge. In reality, it was Tank, Mario, and the Duck Hunt. Whoa, man, you're, you're good, you're good. What? <laughs> He ran away from me. Yeah. Still, for a child. Uh, and before that, I'd never seen uh, like video games. Maybe I had uh, Tetris. I don't remember correctly. But I really never seen those real, like, colorful graphics before. And uh, this was something. This was an adventure in a in a new world. And of course, uh, very quickly, I got many other games and uh... ah and uh, i've been playing a lot uh, in black and white because we had two tvs and one of them was black and white and usually i was playing with black and white tv just because uh, my parents thought thought and many people believed at that time that i will uh, destroy the tv the tv will die if i will play video games on it maybe <laughs> you never know well, if you use TV, it, it breaks, of course, but... Yeah, those hedgehogs or something, they're quite funny. I totally don't remember them. I... That's all. So anyway, uh, that was all for today. This was like the first compilation of video games I ever played, and uh, this was uh, the experience of uh, children of my generation. Uh, those games, and... Uh, I would say that uh, for a relatively low price, we uh, got pretty, pretty good value. And now it's funny is that uh, games like this, like Super Mario, are remade on uh, official, uh, like, uh, small um, uh, Game & Watch uh, consoles uh, produced by Nintendo, and they cost around, like, 60 euro or something. So you can buy that uh, mini console and play that game, and... For me, it's quite funny to play the same game that I got for 
almost for nothing <laughs> in my childhood. Great memories. Anyway, uh, until the next video.